Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a reading vlog slash book review for Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. So I only hopped on the bandwagon for Carly Fortune's first book, Every Summer After. I hopped on real late, okay? Everyone was going off about it, but I had just recently finished The Infinity Between Us right when Every Summer After came out. So those books are like identical. I don't know if you have ever heard of Every Summer... You've probably heard of Every Summer After. I don't know if you ever heard of The Infinity Between Us, but that book is wicked good. And I just thought that Every Summer After could never even compare. Newsflash, it did. It didn't like hold a flame to the infinity between us but it was pretty darn good so i decided i had to pick up meet me at the lake and we're gonna be vlogging the experience so this is another second chance romance much like every summer after much like the infinity between us so i'm anticipating really liking this unfortunately i just finished the happy place or happy place by emily henry so i'm worried that this might be like a little too similar but crossing my fingers that it's not. This book follows our main characters, Will and Fern, and I think they're like fixing up an old lake cottage. Oh my god, this lawnmower. Okay. So our main character, Fern, is coming back to fix up this old lake, like, B&B &B that her mom owned, and there her childhood crush shows up as well, and there are flashbacks going back and forth. I don't really know. I'm on literally page two. So I'm going to go make some Mother's Day cards for my grandmother, and then I'm going to hop on and read some of this book and see if it is sounded terrible and see if it is as oh my god it sounds like everyone is just doing everything they could ever do so i'm going to go read this book make some mother's day cards see what it's about so this book follows our main character fern and fern's mother unfortunately has just passed away Fern is a city gal. She really loves that, you know, metropolitan lifestyle. However, now that her mother has passed, she is taking over the family business of running this lakeside kind of hotel resort, a la Dirty Dancing. So she goes back home to the, to the countryside uh, to run this motel, hotel, resort. <laughs> And she primarily is deciding whether she should keep the hotel and run it herself or if she should sell it. And obviously at the beginning of the book, she is leaning towards selling it. She is not a country gal. Now, lo and behold, when she gets to the hotel, she's like driving all night, gets there. And this man named Will, who she had literally a one day fling with 10 years ago, is there being like the hotel contractor. And then... There's also this guy, Jamie, there, who she had dated for, like, a decade and then broke up with. So there's our cast of characters. And Jamie is just chilling. Jamie is not doing anything nefarious. He's just chilling. We have Will, though, who they're, like, trying to rekindle that old flame from one year ago. Or, sorry, ten years ago. One day ten years ago when he was like, oh, yeah, I'll meet you at the lake in a year and then he didn't show up and that's the big beef that's the beef he didn't show up a year later after they met on that one day it's very november 9th-esque where they met each other and fell in love then didn't exchange any information but then agreed to meet exactly a year later so that felt a bit contrived from our girl coho but you know to each his own perhaps not maybe this was a novel idea probably not though anyway that happens and that is literally all that happens nothing goes down in this book nothing occurs i had to force myself to read it it was just not the vibe i thought they were gonna like fix up the hotel that didn't happen i thought they were gonna like go real back in time and do like time hops they did do time hops but only to one day so that was a bit much and then <coughs> also there were these like diary pages from fern's mother that she was reading throughout the book about how she wanted to go to Europe but she got pregnant with Fern and that like ruined her plans. 
I don't know. There were so many ideas going on in this book. It was screaming One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. So many things were just being thrown in here and none of them worked. None of them were fully fleshed out. It was too much. Could not do it. So moving on to the characters. I thought the characters were so boring. Our main character, Fern, was so cliche. She was like this small city girl who goes to the small town and like obviously ends up fucking obviously ends up falling in love with it. Yeah, it was so cliche. Will was nothing. He was like this big rich city man contractor guy who also, you know, small town lover all of a sudden. So yeah, they were just boring. So boring. And they were literally the only two characters. Jamie was there, but Jamie, I couldn't tell you two things about Jamie. So there's that. And then, oh, also kind of, this is going back, but for the plot, they also threw in, like, in her past, she had, like, gotten in trouble with the police or something. Like, there was so much going on, which kind of leads me into the writing, which was not good. I thought the writing in Every Summer After was, like, fine. It was nothing to write home about, but the story was enough to kind of get it there. Sorry, I'm home alone and I'm convinced I'm going to be murdered. Anyway, the writing was just, like, fine in this book, but just so convoluted and all over the place. That's basically it. Now I'll hop into my updates, but uh, thank you so much for watching, for continuing to support my channel. Uh, hit subscribe if you feel so inclined, and my Redbubble and Pango shop are both listed down below if you want to check them out. So thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Happy reading. <laughs> Hello. I'm officially about a third of the way through Meet Me at the Lake. I'm having such a lazy day. I'm just sitting on the couch, switching back and forth between the book and Criminal Minds and compulsively checking if my professors have uploaded their grades yet. They have not, and I don't understand why, but it's fine. I feel like they're being a little lazy, but whatever. So I do not like this book at all. Not only does it not hold a flame, I think I already said that, not only does it not compare at all to Every Summer After by this author, it is just so boring. So we are following our main character, Fern, and her mother sadly just passed away. And her mom owned this lakeside mot- not motel. It's like a resort, kind of like dirty dancing, where people just go and they stay for a long time in the summer. And Fern never wanted to take it over, but since her mom's passing, she's like headed up north to Canada. So she's deciding whether she should sell it or like maintain it herself. And lo and behold, some guy named Will, who she had like a literal one day fling with, shows up and he's like trying to be a contractor at the hotel to fix it up for her and make her not sell it. But then also she has this ex-boyfriend that she's literally been dating since she was like in the womb and he is there and we keep having flashbacks to this one day in the past that they knew each other and that is what's getting me because they're acting like this girl and Will, it's the guy that she knew for a day, are like soulmates and I'm sorry but you knew him for one singular day. One day. Why are we acting like he is your one true love? I hate that. I hate it. I don't think that there are like one true loves. You just gotta like stick it out with the person that you like the best and there's just no way that you knew that after a day so i'm gonna go read some more and watch some more criminal minds i don't know if i'll check in again today i doubt it but i'm hating this and i think it has gotten bad reviews and yeah that tracks hello i'm checking in because i'm 75 percent of the way through meet me at the lake finally oh my god i hate this book so much i cannot wait to be done i dread having to read it I literally have to bribe myself with a different book to get through this one. So this is just not the vibe. It is so boring. Absolutely nothing is happening. There is no plot. And usually I love books like that. I love books where it's all character development, no plot. There's no character development either. It's just literally going through these day-to-day -day lives of the most boring people ever. So I'm sure you heard like a comprehensive review at the beginning of this video so I'm not just gonna ramble on about how much I hate it but it's so bad and I just had to check in so that I can finish this hopefully I'll finish it at work today and this can just be done with but so bad does not even come close to comparing to every summer after so great we are not live laugh loving